Hey there, how's it going? My name is Albert Huang, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you a project that I'm working on called OFX Portal Cam. Uh, OFX Portal Cam is a, an Open Frameworks add-on uh, that allows you to take your Open Frameworks application uh, and view it um, through your monitor using head tracking as if your monitor weren't there, or as if your monitor were just a picture frame through which you saw a different world. Uh, I know all that might not be uber clear, so I just wanted to show you exactly what I mean um, uh, by demonstrating it, uh, you know, with this camera. So, sorry if my camera handiwork is not that great, but um, I do need the camera to be freely moving to show you what I mean. So, uh, what you're seeing here is a, is a rendered image of, um, of a Nalgene bottle on a stack of white, and then on a stack of blue, and then on a table, right, in that digital world somewhere behind the screen, right? And actually, in reality, what we have behind the screen is an Nalgene bottle on a stack of white on a stack of blue on a table. But as you'd expect on the screen, that turns dark when uh, when the screen screenscaper turns on. Okay, uh, as you'd expect on the screen, you know, as you move around the screen, um, it just behaves like a photograph or a picture. Uh, it doesn't morph or change or anything, obviously, because... That's what screens do, and that's how we expect screens to behave. But basically, if you uh, enable connect here, um, wow, look at that. Check it out. My 3D stuff is all 3D and stuff. Uh, so what we're doing is we're tracking the location of the camera with the connect. Or actually, to be more accurate, we're tracking uh, my left hand, and the left hand is holding the camera. It's clutching it. Um, my left arm is actually really tired from doing this for so long. And I'm running on reserve battery. Sorry. Embarrassing. Okay, great. Um, and uh, and yeah, basically as I as I move my hand around, you know, obviously I get to see different aspects of this three-dimensional space. Now this is actually leveraging uh, a new hot fix that well, it's not a hot fix. It's a it's a feature that that is um, to be entered. It's sort of in the GitHub cloud of Open Frameworks. It's not existing in a release yet but it will shortly be, and it's, it's freely available on the internet, so and it doesn't seem to break anything, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And as you can see, as I, as I leave the Connects um, frame, viewing frame, I, I like break stuff, so. Anyway. So, obviously, with the code, it typically works that it's tracking my head so that my eyes, as they move around, they get to see something different. Uh, but for this demonstration, I'm using it so that my left hand is being tracked. Uh, let me show you what it looks like um, from an outside perspective. So here, my right hand is holding the camera, and my left hand is moving around. So as my left hand moves around, obviously you can see um, the aspect of the world changes, or the view on the world changes. But if you take the perspective of the... Uh, I can't really do that that fast. But if you take the view from the left hand, you know, it changes, but only accordingly. Um, and then one thing I, I sort of uh, also want to point out is that the uh, so the Nalgene bottle, all that geometry that I'm rendering is behind the screen, right? Um, but it is possible to render things in front of the screen. And actually, one of the easiest things to do is that because the Kinect is already rendering out your body, right? I mean, it already has your skeleton. Um, you can actually just render out where your body is. So here, doop, if I know where my left hand is, let me see. What's going on here? Great. Right, so my right hand is basically um, is what creates the location of this white ball here. And as I move my white hand far away and towards the camera, the white ball you know, grows and shrinks accordingly. I can move my hand to move the white ball around. And here, look how... It's really easy to see the latency here, right? I mean, Connect is pretty... Pretty bad with latency. Uh, you can move your hand forward and backward or around or whatever. Or if you have uh, some camera hotspot, <laughs> uh, you can move the camera around, or you can move your head around basically, and, and the ball will persist in that particular location. Um, so let me go ahead and, and show you guys the calibration routine uh, to sort of explain the, the intricacies of how this works. And, uh, of course, all of this is available um, on, 
on the in uh, on my GitHub repo where you can like take a look at all the stuff and and there will be very well documented um, examples there as well. Um, so here is me turning on the calibration routine. So basically, what the calibration routine is is just the debug of OFX Open and I. Um, it shows you the skeleton that is being tracked. Uh, you can see me in my funny hat and my camera. And then also on top, the only thing that's added to all of this is once the camera finally detects a human being, once it finally detects a, a skeleton, and you have to detect it by doing like the, you know, the, the cactus pose. Uh, it'll it'll just add a, a little small dot. I might change the color of this to make it more obvious. But it'll add a dot in the upper left hand corner. And uh, and what you need to do is you need to take your mouse, take your right hand, put it in between you and the dot. Put it in between your view of the dot, and then click a button. When you do that, the dot will move from there to there, and you got to just do it again and it'll move down here again. So you do it three times, and then you'll see that the dot comes up here. So what we've just done, actually, is we've defined three different rays. One ray uh, on the top left here that goes from your viewport to through your right hand out towards infinity, right? We've done that three times. One up here, one down here, and one over here. If we go from a different angle, what this does is it allows the connect to figure... Er, it like creates a different set of rays going through the same point and what we do is we calculate with uh, a bunch of silly math uh, where these points are located so I'm gonna just go ahead and fill these out and I, I put in three different sets of calibration points but I, I would imagine that, you know the more you do the more accurate it would become I'm gonna do one more far far away and it turns out yeah obviously the, the further you are uh, the, le the less parallel you are also, uh, the, the better your calibration ends up becoming. So you can't really see the screen here, but let's make sure we got this going on. Great. Now what we've done is we've just defined the three points. Um, and because of uh, inaccuracies in in either the connect and or my code, uh, the points are simply not 100%, so we need to like do one final tweak to get the calibration all set up properly. And that final tweak is basically to move the camera to where you think is the screen's normal or, or the center of the screen. Whoa! Chill out. Uh, the center of the screen and then call a particular function. Uh-oh that will recenter the image. So let's see if this works here. Nope. Or maybe. Oh my god, my arm. Let's see, did I lose my body? I think Connect lost my body. So yeah, basically what you do is when you know once you reset the tweak, which is like impossibly hard for me to do because here I am like holding the camera like exactly where it needs to go while trying to reach towards my keyboard and like talking to you at the same time. But once you get that tweak down, uh, it'll it'll reset all the calibration and it should be up and running. Um, and uh, you know, it, it, I think it'll be pretty straightforward to get your existing 3D applications um, embedded into this uh, particular, uh, or to get this add-on embedded into your particular applications to uh, get like a cool portal view of your 3D stuff. Um, oh my god, I'm exhausted. This camera is really heavy when you're holding it out three feet in front of your body. Um, for a good five minutes. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, uh, check out the uh, the GitHub repository, and I, I, I want to be as clear as possible with those examples. So uh, let me know if you do have questions, um, and if you have uh, suggestions, you, you know, you're more than welcome to suggest them and send me a pull request. And I'd be, I'm really, really new to this open framework stuff, so you'd probably know more than me uh, if you're browsing around through it. So have fun playing with it. Um, and, uh, you know, hit me up if you have any questions.